Have you ever seen a shooting star or a meteor? Have you seen several shooting stars within just a few hours? Well, as we go into the weekend, you will have that opportunity. I'm meteorologist Nathan Scott here to talk about the Perseid meteor shower. It peaks this weekend, Sunday night into Monday morning. And here's what you want to look for. You want to look off to the northeast. What you see there, the constellation, that's Perseus. That's where it will seem like a lot of the meteors will come from that direction. So if you look for a constellation, it looks like pretty much an upside down Y. The most important thing is timing because we do have a first quarter moon that will be setting right around midnight. So you can go out Sunday evening as long as skies are clear, but you won't see as many meteors that time frame versus when you go out after midnight and the moon will be gone so it won't wash out those fainter meteors. You have to get away from any light pollution because look what happens when you can expect if you're staying in the city, you may see one, may as much as four to five meteors per hour if you're lucky, but lean on the lower totals here in the city. The suburbs, low as five per hour, maybe as many as 20 per hour, Ideal areas will be the country and of course well out into the wilderness. You could see 50 to over 100 meteors per hour in some parts of the state. Watching a meteor shower, you have to be patient. You have to give yourself plenty of time for your eyes to adjust to the darkness. So here are some tips. You need to stay outside 20 to 30 minutes. All you have to do is look up. There's no need for a telescope there's no need for binoculars. You just want to scan the sky with your eyes back and forth. You have to be comfortable. You're going to be out there for quite some time. Lay on a blanket or just sit in a chair. And also, it's August. Make sure you cover up. Wear long sleeves and also pants because the mosquitoes, they will find you and they will eat you up very quickly. So you want to make sure that you put on some bug spray. When we talk about where the darkest skies are, this is a light pollution map and you can clearly see ideal locations, Searcy County, the Buffalo area wilderness, and then the Buffalo River area wilderness, and then the Washita Mountains where you see this dark blue, there's going to be some great locations. But here in Little Rock, you have to travel off to the west for the most part. And that's pretty much into parts of Perry County to really get a good view of the sky. The more dark that you see, the higher number of meteors that you'll be able to witness. And some meteors will last for a long time. When I say long time, a few seconds and others, you blink, you miss it. Some could have some pretty cool colors. You may see one that flashes green, blue, pink. It's whatever that meteor is made up of when it's the metal that is being burnt up in the atmosphere that produces the color. But this is gonna be really the best meteor shower all year long for 2024 because here's the breakdown and we are located right here. Everything else, it's pretty much skipped because this is for ideal locations that you'll see 10 to 20 of the Geminids, and that's just because we'll have a near full moon by December. So good luck. If you want more information about how to view the peak of the Perseid meteor shower, I've got a great article, and it's all on THV11.com.